Welcome to the RDL booth. As usual, RDL has a, a very strong offering of new products. These are our green series of amplifiers, and we use the term green because they do meet the Department of Energy's standards for efficiency, for idle power consumption, and for standby power consumption. And all of these models have uh, internal supervisory uh, processors that monitor the usage of the product and shut down unused portions of the electronics to uh, generate the absolute maximum amount of power savings that would be possible in any uh, mixer amplifier. Anytime any of the internal circuitry is not needed, the supervisory processor will shut those sections off. And in addition to that, the entire amplifier will go into a shutdown mode that you predetermine from 10 minutes up to two hours. So in the complete absence of any audio, then the entire amplifier will shut down with the exception of very minimal circuitry, which is monitoring the inputs so that if there's any activity by a customer, the amplifier will come right back to life and it will stay on until it once again has the opportunity to time out. There are three different feature sets that are offered and in each of these three feature sets, there are two models. One of the models has constant voltage output, which is 25, 70, and 100 volt. And then the other model is 4 and 8 ohm, which is switch selectable on the rear panel. I'm going to start with the uh, constant voltage output unit over here. This is our standard green mixer amplifier. This has four audio inputs, and it has front panel gain and equalization. The second unit is a remote controlled version of this amplifier in which you have a front panel paging control, but then the other three inputs, two, three, and four, are uh, connected by remote control, which effectively puts the actual mixer functionality right in the wall at the user's location. The interconnection between the remote control and the amplifier is done by a simple Cat5 cable with a connector at each end, plug and play, the remote controls are available with or without a mute button, and those are powered from the power amplifier. The third feature set is a power amplifier alone, as a standalone power amplifier. As we talked about the remote mixer amp, which has the three remote volume controls, the other models each have a VCA on their master output for the zone one output. So if you were using the power amplifier as a separate uh, zone, you can still have a separate VCA for that zone located in that zone. As you've seen, the front panels of these amplifiers have the primary mixer. That's what we term the Zone 1 mixer, and that uh, provides the mix to the 35 watt RMS output. Next to the four mixer controls are the equalization controls. We have ducking provision for inputs two, three, and four controlled by the principal paging input, which is typically input one. There is a terminal block, a set of connections that can be used for an external contact closure that will duck inputs two, three, and or four. Those are all dip switch selectable, so you can have it duck any one of them or all of them. Uh, if you're not using an external contact closure, you can also use an internal Vox circuit, which is adjustable on the rear panel. Uh, there are two adjustments for that. One is to set the threshold. There's a yellow LED on the rear that uh, shows you when you've exceeded the threshold. The second control is the release adjust delay, which is adjustable from two to six seconds. The rear of the product has all the same features for the remote controlled amplifier, as well as for the full mixer amplifier that has all the knobs on the front. There are two different inputs that each have either a balanced mic or a balanced line level. They're on the same terminal block with a switch to select between mic and line. Uh, a really interesting feature of this series is that each of those input preamps has a gain trimmer on the rear panel. It's a, a finger or screwdriver adjust trimmer. And you don't have to listen for it, you can do it right on the rear panel. And the way we do that is with one of our standard RDL dual LED VU meters. Inputs three and four are both on RCA jacks. Those do not have any rear panel. Those four inputs comprise the in four inputs for the entire product, but those are fed to two separate mixers. The mixer that we talked about on the front panel that feeds the 35 watt output, those same four inputs are also fed to a full four watts RMS. Mixer on the rear panel, which is for zone two. 
The output from Zone 2 feeds the 4-watt RMS amplifier, which provides you an 8-ohm output on the rear panel. Uh, there's also a terminal block on the rear that gives you a balance line level out. I should also mention that of the four inputs, on the line one input is transformer coupled. The zone two output, the four watt output, also has a transformer coupled 600 ohm output from that mixer. On the 70 volt model, the outputs are on a detachable terminal block that's located behind this tamper-proof security cover. This uh, security cover cannot be removed without removing the power from the unit. So that ensures that uh, even during the installation process, you have to remove power before you're accessing the uh, 70 or 100 volt uh, output terminals. Now, I discussed earlier the fact that, that these mixers that have all of the knobs on the unit itself all have a VCA, and that VCA is connected by means of an RJ45 jack here on the rear panel to uh, one of several different available RDL remote controls. If you are going to add additional zones to this by using, let's say, our, uh, one of our power amplifiers or several of our power amplifiers, there is a switch on the rear panel here that will allow you to take the line output and select it to either be pre-EQ or post-EQ. A couple of other features, there is a line output, which of course is used to feed the amplifiers, can also be used to feed recording equipment. And then we also have a pre-out and amplifier in set of RCA jacks here. There's a space on the back of the mixer amplifier that is identified for use with an RDL module. That could be a, a Max TX, a TX, or a stick-on module. Those mount in the space that's allocated here. And if you're using a powered module, we do provide a 24-volt DC output that is separately fused from the amplifier, but runs off the same power supply. So that will power the remote module. So it indeed has maximum versatility in almost any installation, which is why we're uh, proud to be announcing the world's first full-featured green mixer amplifier series.